Okay, this is going to be a little tutorial on using the Nabulab GUI program. Um, if you click the link at the bottom of the video, you'll end up at a page that looks something like this. Uh, it's got to be an Internet Explorer, and if you look at this blue bar here, um, and if you got the blue bar, it's not going to work. And that's because the Comcast doesn't uh, throw the proper MIME types. What you can do is up at the top, you have the compatibility mode in Internet Explorer. You can click that and you'll notice this turns it to orange. Sometimes it'll work at this point and other times not. And you'll still get the same page, but now go ahead and click the compatibility view again and again, and then it launches the application. Now yours isn't going to launch that fast because you haven't installed it yet. It's about a 200 meg download and it's going to take a little bit of uh, time. Alright, so on the right side we have some of the tools. Um, this is a good way to make sure that you have uh, the drivers installed correctly. The drivers I tried to provide last time with the original Nabilab program and it's, there, it's ended up being more of a disaster than it's worth. So pretty much nowadays we just say uh, grab the PDA net drivers and install those. But this is still a good way to verify that they're working. So if your device is plugged in, we're going to use a Nabi 2 right now, um, and you click you know, ADB devices, you should be getting something up there, like your serial number. Um, it's a good way to make sure that it's doing it. You can try something like a reboot bootloader. ADB is working. Let's see, there it is. Now that you're in this screen, you can um, switch the radio button here to fast boot. Right, click devices again. Uh, same as before. Um, and just generally reboot device back to Android because that's where we're going to need to be. Okay, so uh, the command prompt window. This is just something that I included if you wanted to quickly work in DOS in, in this directory. You know, you've got the normal DOS commands here to do a directory. There's your directory. Um, you can see you have uh, fast food and ADB in this directory too if you want to type your own commands. And here's the path where it's at or where the install is going to be which is right here. And now yours is going to have your username here, not John, but anyway. Um, okay, so Nabby's back booted up. And so again, we would select, we're using a Nabby 2 right now, so click on that. And this box down here is experimental. Again, it gives a serial number. This Nabby's still on 1.937. Um, device mode Android, the build date. Okay, so look, we can try installing a, a TWRP here. Alright, follow directions, are you ready to begin? Alright, so the device is connected and woken up, so let's go ahead and make sure the cursor's down here blinking in the white box and just hit the enter key. Alright, see so writing okay. You can see once it says writing recovery okay, you're pretty much done, and you can now close the window. You'll see the Nabby is now at that bootloader screen again. Here we can uh, press the plus key, volume up. Press the minus key down twice to go to recovery kernel and then press the volume up key again. We should boot to TWRP here. Six, six. All right, so um, when I try to close the script, it'll prompt you, are you sure you want to close this so that you're not closing the script when it's trying to do something. Okay, so we're done there. Um, 
this would be, this doesn't matter if you're in Android or TWRP, which we are right now, but uh, we can try just root only. This will be this, more or less the same procedure. Uh, make sure the device is connected. Rooting to TWRP. Okay. Um, I know that sounds, step seemed redundant, but it has to take into account that you were in Android at some point in time. Alright, pressing the key. There we sent the root program over, and rebooting again. And we're done. And that is basically how the program runs in a nutshell. Let's see, we can look at the other, I mean, obviously the other options. This is the best option, root recovery GFs backup if you have a brand new Navi. It will root, add the TWRP, uh, GFs, Google Play Store, and it'll back up your device uh, one time to the internal SD card, in which case you should probably get it off to your computer at that point. Okay, so we're back and we have root. Um, we can try just to show the program when we have to plug the NABBY here. And let's break out a NABBY XD. Okay, I didn't have the NABBY booted, so I stopped the video here and rebooted it so you guys don't have to wait through that. But I closed the program too, so I might as well show you that mm -hmm. this will install as a program mm -hmm. under NABBY Lab. Alright, we're back. Let's make sure that our device is seen. And it is. And we can select the uh, Navi XD. And let's uh, install to the BRP 2.6 on this one. Device is rebooting. See, once it says writing OK, good, we can close this window. And this one is also at the bootloader screen. Same procedure, press the volume up button, the volume minus twice, and you'll get to the recovery kernel, and push the volume plus again. Okay, and we can try the, the root only thing again. I don't want to do the GFs and everything in this device. I'm getting in trouble. Um, if I break it, um, install root only. Um, should be rebooting the device. And again, this is redundant, but normally you'd be an Android when you start with this. So we'll wait till uh, TWRP reboots. Pressing the key again. Alright, pressing the key. Sending root over, and we're going to be rebooting again. So that it can install uh, SU to bin and uh, super user APK. Procedures down, so press the key and can close this window off. And I 
How was that more or less everything? I guess I can show one thing for the Nabby Jr. <clears throat> I don't have one right here, but Nabby Jr. 16 gig version is a Tegra 3 beast, and it has a different bootloader than the rest. <clears throat> so you can look here, and you've got the unlock and lock bootloader. You're going to have to do this before you can do any of these. So you would click unlock, and you have to quickly follow the screens on the Nabby after you hit unlock. But the key here is unlock will erase the data on your Nabby. So <clears throat> whatever you've had set up will be gone. So you know, I'm just giving you that fair warning that it does erase the device. But to get any of these programs, you don't really have any other choice. As well as you could <clears throat> root it outright and install some of the GOP stuff manually. But uh, that's not part of this program. Okay, and I suppose the uh, last thing to look at is you need to install the program. Right? Go to uh, your control panel here, and go to Programs and Features, or Add Remove Programs if it's XP, and you will see some point down here is Nebulab GUI, and you can uninstall it from here. And I believe that's everything. Thanks.